Hey guys, it's Marsha. Welcome back to my channel. And I am currently sitting on the floor because I am getting ready to repot my snake plant. So I think I shared this with you guys in my last plant video that it was time to repot my snake plant. So I'm going to get that done today. And I wanted to film the entire process for you guys so you can exactly see what I'm doing. Um, this is actually my first time repotting a plant so quick disclaimer but i've watched some youtube videos and read a couple of articles on what i needed to do i also talked to a really good friend and make sure i had the right pot so i think i am prepared you guys but um i'm excited so let me show you everything that i got so far all right so here is my snake plant and it is currently in a six inch pot so this is the nursery pot that it was in when I bought it um, from the plant nursery and it is it has outgrown this pot so a couple of different ways you can tell if your plant has outgrown its nursery pot and is ready to be replanted is um, a couple of different ways and I actually learned this from the plant nursery so one way is by checking the bottom of the um uh oh <laughs> the bottom of the plant and if you can start to see some of the roots growing out of the bottom that is a sign that it is um it is running out of room basically and it needs to be repotted another way is by filling the pot um and if it feels tight as if like there's no more room you can't really press it in like this one is extremely tight then that is another way you can tell um that it's just outgrown this pot and it's time to be repotted so i am repotting it into an eight inch pot and so whenever you repot your plant especially if you are repotting it because it has just simply outgrown this pot is you want to go um up in size about one to two inches so this one is a six inch this one is an eight inch so it should be perfect i thought it was a little big but again, from everything that I've um, researched and what I've um, learned when I talked to a few experts is that this is going to be just fine. So I'm excited, you guys. I got this pot, as you um, know, from Target. I shared that in a previous video. And for my soil, I am using a combination of a cactus mix soil. Um, and this one is specifically for cactus type plants, um, succulent plants. And so... I believe they told me exactly what to get so that's what i that's the reason why i got this one and i got it from the plant nursery where i bought my plants from and i'm also going to mix it a little bit with this regular potting soil so i'm gonna mix the two and we are going to get to repotting oh Ugh. i hope you guys can see me okay <laughs> All right, so I am ready to get started. So this snake plant is really dry right now. So I thought about kind of putting a little bit of water in it to loosen up the soil, but I think I'm just gonna hold off um, on doing that. So now I just want to get it out of this pot. So I'm gonna start by pressing the soil and the pot a little bit on each side. <sighs> Hope you guys can see, okay just to loosen up the sides. And then I have um, what's called, I believe a trowel. And this is these are my son's plant tools that we bought him last year when we was doing some um, outdoor plants in our flower bed. But I, I thought I had one, but I couldn't find it. So I'm just using my son's today. And so I'm just gonna loosen up the sides over here. I'm kind of nervous as to what I'm gonna find, you guys, but we'll see and i got a bunch of paper towels down here i thought about doing this outside to have a really nice um backyard patio type area that would have been perfect but we have an issue with carpenter bees <laughs> and i didn't want to be screaming in the entire video like the last one all right and so for my fifth plant <laughs> Be tried to attack me, <laughs> oh my God. If you guys watch that video, that was embarrassing, but, so I was trying to be a little bit more professional in this video. So we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do it on the inside. All right, so I've loosened up 
this dirt, y'all. Let's see if this will slide out. I think it is. It's in there good. Oh, it's in there real good. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, look at these roots. Oh my gosh, y'all. Let me get a close up for you. You guys, look at this. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is literally the first time I've ever done anything like this and it's it's so amazing to kind of see, but wow, look at those roots. Wow, y'all. All right, y'all. So now I'm just going to break up the soil a little bit. I don't want to take all of the soil off of this plant because um, I still want it to kind of stay in this little ball a little bit. But I just want to shake off a little bit of the soil to make room for the new soil that we're going to be using. I was kind of wondering if I should put some of this old soil. Well, I guess some of it will be going in, but. And I really don't know if I'm supposed to disturb the roots that have kind of wrapped itself around each other. Is that mold? You guys, see, this is why I was nervous about this. What is that? Ugh. I hope I don't mess this up, you guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm just shaking off some of the excess dirt. I think I want to loosen the roots. I think that's what I'm, I need to do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna loosen these roots. I don't wanna take all of the soil off. I just want to loosen the roots so they're not wrapped around each other so bad. Oh, I'm getting dirt all on me. <laughs> I need to move over here to the paper, to the newspapers. All right, so I just loosen the roots a little bit. Gently too, I feel like I'm tearing some of the roots off. So I need to be gentle. Oh gosh, I hope there's no like plant experts watching and just cringing at everything I do. Like, oh my gosh, why is she doing that? <laughs> you guys, I'm a beginner, okay. So that's as much as I wanna do to that pot. All right, so time to mix some soil. Where are my scissors? All right, we're back. So I have, let's start with this cactus mix. So I'm gonna cut this open. The other mix ready. This stuff is heavy, y'all. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start by putting a layer of soil at the bottom before I put the plant on the inside. So I'm just gonna take turns mixing the two, if that works. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by putting a little bit of this potting soil at the bottom. All right, so here's a layer of the potting soil. So I just put a layer of that at the bottom. And now I'm just about to put a small layer of the cactus soil on top of that. Ugh. So this is the cactus soil. So I'm gonna put a small layer of that. And then I'm just gonna kind of just stir just a little bit the two. Just kind of wanna stir the two together a little bit. And I say I put about an inch and a half to two inches of soil here just to give it a nice base or a nice foundation. So I think I want to just use a little bit more of this cactus mix. Okay, now it's time to put my pot, my uh, snake plant in. All right, so I'm gonna put the snake plant in. All right, so I have it in again the the roots have been loosened. You guys, I just feel like they're still too root bound or just, they're still too, they're still not loose enough, but I just feel like maybe they like to be this way. I don't know. I just don't wanna be 
You guys let me know in the comments. If you are if you are familiar with plants, am I supposed to leave the roots this tangled up together? I just feel like the answer is no. All right, so I'm just kind of detangling some of the roots just a little bit more. Um, I just felt like they needed a little bit to be loosened just a little bit more before I put them in the pot. All right, so I'm happy with that. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and put it in the pot. And again, I have a layer of soil at the bottom. And then I am going to, oh, look at these pretty little ones coming up. They're so pretty. All right, so now it's time to fill the sides of it. So I'm gonna use my son's little scoop here. <laughs> I don't even think this is going to help, but. And then I'm just going to just start. This is, yeah, I probably should just get something else. <laughs> But I'm just gonna just just go with the flow. I'm going to start kind of filling up the sides here. I'm using a lot of potting soil. I do want to use some of this cactus soil mix too. going to make sure I leave a little bit of room at the top so I'm not going to fill it all the fill the soil all the way up to the very tip top I'm gonna leave a little bit room because when I'm watering the plant I want to have some room um, for the water to kind of seep in and not spill over when I'm watering the plant <laughs> I'm getting my hands dirty I should have put on them gloves I bought but I kind of just wanted to Feel the roots and kind of with my hands, my bare hands, and kind of be one with the plant. Is that weird, y'all? <laughs> I want it to be one with nature. So I'm being silly with you guys. If you follow me on um, any of my food videos, I am not this silly. I'm usually a lot more serious and professional. <laughs> But I'm having fun, so now I know that these videos, I lost my little thing. These videos are gonna be a lot more down to earth. <laughs> All right, so now that my snake plant has been repotted, it is time to water it. So I wanna get it, give it a fresh water um, to soak the soil all at once. And then snake plants actually don't have to be rewatered that often. So after I give it a good wash today, I probably will let it go um, about two weeks um, before I rewater it. Um, but snake plants can actually go a little bit longer than that. So I think I'm going to give it another water in about two weeks. I'll check it to make sure. But wow, you guys, it looks so good. All right, you guys, here she is. So, of course, now the pot is <laughs> dirty. So I'm going to clean it off later. But... I think I did a pretty good job. There's Nene flipping on the trampoline with something on her butt. But anyway, but yeah, I think I did a pretty good job, you guys. So it actually just looks like there's so much more room now that it's been repotted. Um, it was a little bit crooked at first. So I tried to straighten it um, the best that I could, but I think it looks fine. And then I have some little baby ones. And as soon as I post it, um, this on my IG stories, um, one of my friends messaged me and said, oh, take some of the baby ones off and repot them or propagate them so they can grow new plants. And I was like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I was like, crap. So I thought about like undoing it all just so I could do that. But you know what? I said next time, um, it's time to repot and go from an eight inch to a 10 inch. I'll make sure I do that if I have some baby ones like I do here. So 
that'll be for next time but yeah here she is you guys so i need to water it now so let's do that all right y'all so we're outside so i'm getting ready to water her and i just want to water her until i start to see some of the water um coming out of the bottom down here so as i showed you guys before the actual holes are within the actual pot and then it has like this little saucer or container that's connected to it so i'm gonna look and see when the water starts coming out down there and then i'll know that the water or the um plant is well watered and eventually i'll start using this little spout down here right now i want to just start at the top want to drain a little bit of that off because I don't want it to sit down there you guys see that I hope you can all right so I drained the majority of the excess water off I'm sure it's gonna keep dripping as I go but at least it is nicely well watered now all right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I'm happy to finally get that done. So I'm welcoming all suggestions and all um, ideas from the fellow plant moms out there. So feel free to leave any comments down in the comments box below. If you like this video, please leave me a big thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below along with the bell. So you never miss when I upload a brand new video. And until next week, friends, I'll see you later.